Ah, everything's sliding. Oh, please don't slide. Please don't slide. Stop sliding. Well, we are here in Maryland today and we are outside of the Goodwill. Uh, we're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Ooh, I like that mug. $3.50. All right, wait. Ah, I felt a chip when I went to put it in my cart. The stone where I was hiding it. Oh my goodness, Jim Shore. Maybe? Where's the JS? Ah, I see Disney. I don't see JS, but it sure does look like Jim Shore to me. Natural life. There's some chance. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> For 49. What is this? I'm assuming it's a planter. Oh, look at his little tusks are broken. Oh, it hurts to put him back, but I can't do it. Remember, we're being picky. Royal standard, and we're actually being picky. I feel like I've been doing pretty good about it. Oh, look at it all. Yeah, 149. What? One. Two. Three. We're gonna count them, if you didn't notice. I've been doing this with uh, Laurel for <laughs> synapse, synapse. Sorry, it comes out. So we're all counting today. We're practicing our counting. Then we're also gonna get this. 249. Wow, the prices have gone down here. I don't know. Every time I talk to people, they're like, how do you like that that Monocacy Boulevard Goodwill? And usually the general consensus is the prices are a little high here. So now I don't know what changed. What is this? Oh, <laughs> this is broken. I just smacked it off the shelf because I'm so excited. I can't contain myself. Oh, it's not broken. I didn't break it. Okay, um, that's broken off something. Oh, what is that? That's hiding back there is what that is. 4.49, nice, I like that. So those guys in front, <laughs> I have bought and sold those before and they have not done well for me. So even though they're vintage, even though they're cool, I haven't had good experience with them in the past. So I am passing on those. It's like a personal thing. Oh wow. That's nice. That's a studio pottery. 149. We'll oh, grab that as well. Wow. Alright, today is our day. Today is the day I did not want to go thrifting. And then it turned into a really good day. We had a good morning so far. And here we are. Look at all these bells. Somebody's belt collection. It has a chip on it, unfortunately. There's Tweety Bird in the back. I'll pick up Tweety. And then actually, there was something down here that I noticed. And then, where did it go? Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I must be. These are kind of neat. Alright, never mind. That's because it was one shelf up. <laughs> it was this. Like, I know I saw some art pottery down there. 12.49 though. It's a nice console dish and it's worth more than 12.49. There's the Tweety soap dish, but it has a chip on it. I'll grab it just because we're grabbing the toothbrush holder. This here is a cozy um, that goes on a teapot. So we'll pick this up and carry it around over to the teapot section and see if we can find the teapot that goes with it. If not, we'll put it back. Um, let's see. Wow. Off to a great start. This is neat looking. 
Oh, it's a shame it's got all that damage. And again, it's <laughs> made in China. There's a communion. <laughs> communion lid. Heavy crystal. Alright, let's go around the corner and check out the vases. I'm kind of excited for the vases. What are we gonna find over here? Oh, hi. Hello, melon vase 149. Okay. Take a step back, take it all in. <laughs> I guess that's it for now. This is interesting. 549. Art pottery, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's a neat technique with that collar on it. How much is it? 549. And what is that down there? Not the birds. That thing. Nothing exciting. Stick that in there. And then this. Also art pottery. For, of course it's $14.49. Check out the prices on art pottery because why not? I just think that has a really neat design and the color is nice on that. That teal. Wow, we're filling up the cart, aren't we? Oh my gosh. <laughs> These reminded me of the Ken Edwards plates that I saw at Renninger's a few, a few months ago when I went and saw George at Mount Dora. Um, I got really excited for a second, and then of course they're better homes and gardens. And Johnson Brothers. I know some Johnson Brothers can have value, but I don't know enough about it. <laughs> Which would? Trulia. It's a shame that's cracked. Because I love that as well. 549. Someone must have had a collection that was uh, donated. Are those actually old or are they just made to look old? I don't know, I think they might be made to look old, judging by the hardware on the back. Those are hand blown. You can kind of tell the crudeness by the stem. There's a set of four of them. And the Antwerp pottery. There's some shipping on that. There's a large console. Whoa, look at that. Handmade crystal Larson, made in the USA. That's not what I was expecting. I actually wanted to see what was underneath. <laughs> Picked it up. Oh, all right. I'll take that. That thing is just massive. I can already hear the guys in my head saying, "I don't want to ship that." So I don't think. <laughs> I don't think we want to ship that. And honestly, it would just take up so much space in my booth that I don't know. I don't think I really want it. This is fancy. So fancy that they had it um, monogrammed. I think I looked at that the last time. I think there was a decanter with that monogram on it. Two pieces monogrammed, but it's so specific. You have to find somebody with that actual name. 
well not that name but that uh, those initials monogram stuff is hard Teapots? I don't see the teapots. See my pottery pitcher. Oh, that's that matches the squiggle that's on the console bowl. Okay, it wasn't the squiggle on the console bowl. Where is the squiggle? Where did I see the squiggle? Oh, it's this squiggle. It matches this squiggle, so that's the same. Ah, everything's sliding. Oh, please don't slide. Please don't slide. Stop sliding. Stop it. It's not listening to me. This cart is freaking me out more than any cart that I've ever stacked because everything heavy wants to slide into everything else. I'm telling you, it's freaking me out. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, now we're going to go check out the baggies right after I look at the bottom of this. Hmm, never mind. <laughs> Let's go check out the baggies. I am going to put that koozie back because I'm not seeing any teapots that it would fit on. Wow, there are a ton of baggies. Oh, look, it's a little nun. I just sold one of those recently. Oh, she's missing her hand, though. Bummer. Oh, I'm throwing stuff on the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's so many baggies and stuff. Is Falling on the ground. And if her hand wasn't broken, I would have grabbed her. Okay. Shells and napkin rings. These are squishies. Art pottery lamp. No signatures. It's probably on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna circle around. This way. Hey, 149. That's a matchy match without a chip. Hanging over here in the toys. There we go. Huh. Huh. This is the holiday section. This is really cool. Easter. I don't really need anything in the holiday section though. All right, well let's swing through the aisles one last time and then I'll probably take off. I noticed this doll as I was walking by. Little Bradley doll. These are kind of weird looking. Quite a few of them. What is this? A clown. These cleats kind of remind me of the Converse shoe that I had a while back. I like the Converse shoe more. Mm, I can't remember if this is something special, but. Since it's only a symbol for about 49, I don't think it's probably worth picking up. Alright guys, what am I missing? <laughs> I know you're probably screaming at me. Oh. It's right there. I saw it. This goes with the pieces that I picked up two weeks ago. There you go. I found it. We can leave now. <laughs> also, this poor unicorn has lost its horn. Pet Kelly Cape Cod. That floral frog. I'll try to look up Pat Kelly and see if that's anything good. Looks like I just sold some chimps. <laughs> 
but also um, Pat K looks like some candlesticks sold for 24 That might be worth picking out for $349. Are those original? Are they missing one? Is that why they're not signed? Oh, there you go. Mount West. Day Bella. What bridge is that? The middle one that's not signed. I don't know. Tell me what bridge that is in the comments. I don't know if it's the Golden Gate Bridge or is it actually does it say on there? It's <laughs> Mount West. I've never heard of that bridge. I'm gonna grab those. It's the color that attracted my eye to it. Oh, of course, I don't know the. What are those? Gosh, this is making me so nervous. I'm gonna put them down here, I think. Now well, let's get a closer look at these. Ti oh my gosh, they're tiles. They're Bombay Company. Yikes. They're very heavy. I'm not gonna mess with those. Okay, well, I figured since I picked up all the other pieces, why not one more? This one has punched up. Uh, Punched hearts on it, it's 549. Usually with art pottery, I do buy it now. Ooh wow, wasn't expecting that. I like the texture of those. Are those cups? I feel like those are probably cups and not candle holders, but they're in the candle holder section. Fortunately, this one has a crack, this one has a chip. They're pretty rough. I found it. You didn't think I'd find it, but I found it. Literally on my way out the door, and I was like, wait a second. That looks like one of Debbie's little thingamabobbers. <laughs> are there any more that I am missing? I saw the one here. I got that one. <laughs> now I'm like, hmm. I think that's it, right? How did I miss both of those? I don't, oh my gosh, how did I miss that? Look at that. That is some really rough looking Cabo de Monte. Wow. <laughs> now I'm always saying, oh, it's usually chipped. That is usually chipped. She's so adorable. I feel like she needs a friend though to be kissing, right? She needs her kissy friend. Excuse me. <laughs> I win. Okay. Making my way up towards the checkout. Doing one final check and I'm glad that I did. Because I would have missed that dove. Okay, well our total spend was $100, and I feel like we hit it at just the right time, and those little crackle glass pictures were just sitting on the shelf waiting for us at about $50 a piece, and that's just crazy. That, those are like prices of the past, because normally I'd find those and they'd be like $5 each. <laughs> But a buck fifty, I'll take that all day, any day. Um, and the art pottery was exciting too. I love picking up art pottery. Um, that is a personal preference, and I will sit on art pottery for a while. I just admire it. Um, I follow a lot of art pottery makers on Instagram, and, and I love seeing their work. Um, I have a lot, a lot that shows up in my feed because I love it so much. Um, and so I just, I, I have a passion for it. And so when I see it at the Goodwill it's the right price I will pick it up and even if I can't decipher who made it I just I guess I just I appreciate it so um, I like passing it along and not letting it get lost in the shuffle of goodwill so um, yeah we've got some really nice art pottery today but I'm gonna head on to the next goodwill I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later